York. Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. Oh, look, we Ebro in the morning. And, uh, <laughs> I have that's, something for you one day. That's the beautiful Laura Styles. Thank and you. then you got uh, Tribe Called Quest T. Rosenberg. Tribe Called Quest Hoodie. Yes, yeah, my fault, my yeah. fault. And YFN Lucci's on the program. Give it up right now. Hey, 1.2 million on the Instagram. Yeah. I know the one song, um, Every Day We Lit. That's okay, the song okay. I know with PNB Rock. I gotta um, put you down on some more. Yeah, so I gotta do more research. But you're yeah. a, a new artist. Yeah. Um, everybody's talking about you. Yeah. Um, Billboard's uh ten hip hop R and B artists to watch in two, 2017. Why? Say that again. <laughs> well, Billboard said that you're like the the one of the ten hip hop artists to pay attention to in 2017, and I'm asking why? Um, why? What? What about you? Yeah. Why, why should not? we be paying attention to you? Why not? Um, you know. I got the nicest flow. You okay. You smell me? All right. Nicest style. You smell me? I got my own style. I ain't trying to be like nobody. You know, everything I talk about real and relatable. I ain't just rapping like, you know, some some, some of the new hip hop people. And, you know. Oh, shit. He just took shots deep. already. We I'm just deep. Deep. Really? I my second mix. Just went at other on, And I'm, I do I'm on my third mix take. Okay. You smell me? And I've been having money since my first mix take. And. And I yeah, do smell like you. Smell, it smells and like two, two, three years. <laughs> what's like two wait, years. Oh, one second, what's he smell like, Rosenberg? Weed. Gas. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, sorry. gas, if you will. But yes. it is loud. Yes. It is loud. It's loud. Oh, it's loud, all right. It's loud. It's, it's luxurious. Well, I, I walked in and I said, it, the first thing I said was, apparently you smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it, it, this is old school. I haven't had it feel like this when you walk in the room since well, and then I School Boy Q on. first came. I asked him where he got his weed from. He said he got it from Atlanta. And I, I'm sure Atlanta has some good weed, but it's it's not like the Californians and the Oregons. And I suggested that maybe you take a, a trip right. on up to the Northwest and... You're right. Breathe that recreational all life. You know what I'm saying? You know, when they, the uh, Double XL freshman class was announced, I saw like uh, some of the guys here were upset that you weren't on there, part of that list. Yeah, a lot of people How were. did you feel? Because I saw a lot of your fans online were like um, tweeting about you. How did you feel about that? I ain't feel no type of way because um, I didn't really feel like I was a freshman. You know, I got I got two mixtapes in the EP. I, I dropped my first mixtape December the 16th, 2014. So, you know, it's 2017. I don't feel like I'm a freshman. I have to say, this is the first interview. No, I it's think a I've... cool platform and all, but, yeah. you know, Drake didn't you take it, then nobody get mad. So why right. they going to get mad at me? Good point. This is the first interview I've done indoors with an artist who's bare-chested. Like, I've never done <laughs> a very... I've never done an interview with a only partially dressed yeah, individual and so, and, inside. And I've they never... told me when they said someone... That I didn't want to wear it. You, you just gonna, gonna no come shirt? in no shirt. I just gonna Shirtless. come in no shirt. But that would have been the first two. That would have yeah, been the first. Man. Well, because we have AC inside, so it's kind of chilly actually. Well, I just inside. put on the hoodie. Yeah, exactly. So the other someone said they were like, "Lucci's here. He's um waiting. For, he's like he's in the other room waiting. Shirts unbuttoned and all." I I thought they meant like two buttons. I didn't know they meant <laughs> every button. <laughs> Wait, do you have a thug life tattoo on your stomach? Yeah, I do. So you're a big Pac fan? Yeah. You, how'd you feel about the movie? Did you see the movie? I ain't seen the movie yet. Are you you plan on seeing it? Yeah, I plan on seeing it. And uh, it's just I be busy and then you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, but obviously, and it's if, probably tough to get to a movie theater with all that jewelry and you being wife and Lucci. I'm yeah. sure you got the big fans and the whole thing. Yeah. But it, bro, I was gonna say though, if you're a really big pop fan, big enough to have a, a a thug life tattoo, and you didn't run out to see the movie, does that say that like you didn't need the movie right now? Like, do, do yeah, you, I ain't really need the movie. Mm. Like, I know enough about pop. You know, I read about them. Been listening to him. I heard the movie was not so good. Yeah, so you know. Yeah, I wonder about true mm. fans. Like I haven't seen it yet either, and I, I I'm certainly not some Pac obsessed in terms of the hip hop world. I'm not Pac obsessed, but compared to the mainstream world, I know everything about Tupac. I didn't feel the. So I wasn't a diss. It's just like we know him. Yeah. Did so you need to see someone playing him? It's tough. What is um? What is your affinity with Pac? What 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 do you love so much about Pac for you? I just love how he spoke. You know. What he felt, you know, he ain't hold his tongue. He was strong in what he believed in, and I like the way he rapped. You smell me? He rapped about life. Mm. That's what I do. Do you um? And him and his mama bun, kind of like man, man. You're very close with your mom. Yeah. Uh, you, do you guys uh live near each other? Yeah, we live together. Oh, we live together. Yeah, man, I bought my mama a house. I mm. stay with her though. That's smart because yeah. the food is popping. I'm sure the food is <laughs> yes. ringing. Yes. And she and you know the meal's gonna be good now. You just bought her a house every night. <laughs> That's the deal. I got the house. You bring the food. You bring the food. It's a good deal. That's a beautiful deal. 
Um, every day we lit with PNB Rock. We're gonna get that on. Um, I want to know about your uh, love affair with Ashanti. I saw a post <laughs> on your Instagram. Let's get right to it. Um, let's get to the business here. Man, I've been proud of liking Ashanti since I was like nine years old. I mean, it's a little weird. I don't know if maybe you should have told it because well, I was thinking maybe you yeah. had a shot still. You could have a shot. I still you think she? Do what you mean? Wait, I can't how old like you? How old you? No, I'm just I'm saying. You tell a girl that I've liked you since you was nine. That don't mean I'ma just be just calling you and just yeah. stalking you and just okay. Nah. Fair enough. You just want to put I it out there that you, you admire her. Yeah, I fought with you. Okay. Have you met her? Nah. She left a comment in your Instagram, though, bro. She left hearts. Yeah, she did. Oh, she did. Of course. She appreciated the love. Girls, they, they give hearts. <laughs> you know, they see me. <laughs> did she not? Did she follow up in the DM or not? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Just the comment. I ain't even shoot at her yet. All right. All right. You're, still, you're sitting back. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. He's not thirsty. He's chill out. He's, <laughs> chill out. <laughs> he's planting seeds. But listen, he just put it out there and he shows up to New York doing Hot 97 for the first time. Open shirt. Let him know what time it is. Oh, no. I've been sure. rocking with New York since Dill set. Oh, Probably really? Before then, you know. So that's what, is that one of your favorite? What's your favorite rap from New York? Mm, probably Dip said. Well, I used to listen to Ja Rule a lot. Fifty mm. Mm, and Jay. Yeah, Jay. You like that new Jay album? I like ASAP. Oh, ASAP Rocky. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You listen to the new Jay album? I heard a couple songs, but you haven't really lived with it yet. Yeah, yeah. Nice Are you um? You know, Two Chains was here the other day. You're from Atlanta, so we could we could get back into the Atlanta New York rap talk. <laughs> um, because I, you know, I, I'm in a space where, you know, I like artists from Atlanta. There's spitters from Atlanta. There's Killer Mikes. There's the Ti's and spitters that come out of Atlanta. Uh, obviously, Three Thousand and Big Boy's new album's phenomenal. Wife and Lucci. You a spitter? Wife and Lucci. You you consider is that how you? And that's I'm glad you brought that up because that's what my next question was going to be. Do you see yourself as a as a lyricist? Is that what you, yes, how you want to be rap. seen? I talk shit. You smell me? I don't just get on the mic and just rap. I got bars. I got double entendre, triple entendre. You smell me? Mm. I ain't just rapping. Mm. So that's hip hop to me. See now I'm gonna go listen. Yeah, you're you interested now, man. Because nah, a lot man, of people come in. Like a lot of people come in and they. They almost downplay bars. Like they, they're, they're more about like, oh, all I really am is swag. It's about a lifestyle. Nah, they man. don't want to be about the bars. See, that just come with it. You smell me. See, my sound and the way I talk it. I mean, the way I say it, it just come with it. But I be talking my song. You just gotta listen. Mm. Yeah. All right. I'm happy to hear that too. I'm 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 interested now because I was you know I'm skeptical of new artists. I'm very skeptical all the time. Well, you're old and angry. <laughs> well, it's not that I'm angry I'm or old. I'm just I know Damn. that this game pays well. You can make a lot now, of money. I understand in it. it. I understand. You. Yeah, he yeah. took shots at new artists. First things first. That's a very good point. Yeah, it's a lot of new art artists on this too. So yeah, I don't go down. Is it because of the lack of? content, the lack of like substance in the music. Yeah, just the way they probably sound and the way they, what they talking about. It just, they not Wait. talking about nothing. They might just be screaming. You had an issue with Young Thug. Was it because of the Tupac comparisons? Nah, I ain't got no issue with nobody. No? No. Nah. That was not a thing? No. Nah. Okay. That's just, you know, that's, that's, un, that's unreal, but I ain't got no problem with nobody. Do you, um, you've had money, you said, since your first tape. Yeah. And everything you rap about is... I ain't come in with money. I'm just saying, when I got my deal, I dropped my tape. I been on. I was on the yeah. road every day after that. So So what I was the got. first record that got you moving, it, like locally at least, just started um, all up? It was called I Wonder Why, featuring um, Schoolboy. And and it started moving around in Atlanta, got yeah. radio? Yeah, yeah. We started moving around. And we just started moving like in, like in Florida... North Carolina, South Carolina, it just started popping. And then when I, I capitalized with my mixtape, Wish Me Well, and then they were just showing me love everywhere. And then how quickly did the label come along? Um, I got signed, like, before the mixtape. Really? Just off the yeah. single? Yeah. Off the bus? And a couple songs, because we had, I already had a relationship. Like, I already knew Fly. And he would already heard my song, so, you know, he was fucking with me. And how long, and that's 2014, how long have you been grinding, working on rap before then? I've been rapping since I was probably like 12. Mm. I got serious when I was probably like 16, 17, and I've been just grinding ever since. Wow, good for you, man. Yeah, it's nice to hear a long story these days, too, because so often these days the kids who get signed, and God bless them, but 
you know, they've been rapping two nah, years. Man, I got real stories, man. You know, in the hood when Young Jeezy pull up, when I'm probably like 13, mm. I gave him a CD. Really? I, yeah, I got real stories. What story. did Jeezy pull up and what was he driving? Uh, I think he was in that lamb. We was, we was showing that um and then what video. I was in the video, matter of fact. Really? Yeah. <laughs> in the hood. My hood. Which is that? Which is, Summer which... Hill. Okay. Atlanta, Georgia. So you've been moving around Atlanta making sure you was seen as an artist since very young. This is a dream come true for you. Yeah, yeah. And big dream. And so I, I guess I'm 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 actually very happy to hear that. Even uh YFN Lucci said he was gonna come back and give us some bars too. Yeah. He said not today, but he said he got bars for us. I, Cause you know I had a primo beat ready to see if this would go left. Cause last time I threw a primo beat on for a young artist, they didn't know what to do with it. It was upset. I probably don't even want no beat when I do it. So I, I like Acapulco? Yeah, man. We can go Acapulco. Yeah. I like that. So when you come back next time, we'll get to that. Yeah. But I respect I do respect and I think fans of hip hop, um, there's entertainment. There's things and, and I think as people who love music, there's things in hip hop that are entertainment. And then there's right. things that You're right. are just bars. And then there's things that are just great songs. Like there's different types of hip hop. You know, but I always like to see how much of the integrity in an artist of the the essence of what we have uh, has been provided to us as a culture. Yeah, see, we my passion keep is for the music and not for the money. Yeah. You smell me? The money is to take care of the family. Yeah. So they had they had to look at it. Yeah. No, that's dope, man. Wife and Lucci, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 400 million video views. I'm looking over this Damn. press sheet they got right here. Yeah, man. You know, we work. That's one thing that a lot of people say about you is your work ethic is very high. Yeah, yeah. Like you'll go to every every event, every town, every record store, every DJ, every rate. Like you ready to work. Every studio session. Everything. Yeah. Not only that, uh, first of all, what is the little thing on the shirt? There's a little, it's like a floor delete. Is that what it is? What's a floor de lis? Like the French flower. It's lovely, and then he's got the 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 the, the white collar on the with the with the pinstripe. <laughs> this is I haven't seen. Do this you have before. a stylist you or you dress you yourself? Nah, you know I be doing that myself. You know my brother, my sister, my little cousin might go get it for me. But you know we got swag. But you, the whole family, yeah, fashion whole family. Is, knows how to dress and yeah. take care. of things. Are people yeah. in the room with us right now? Family? Yeah, it's our family. Who's who? Jay. Um, Fly. And my people right there. <laughs> anyone, but no, is anyone your actual blood family here? Oh, not right now, not right now. They okay. had the room, they had the hotel. They okay, no. but you they brought them up. with you. Yeah, yeah. But these are all day ones. Yeah. People we came yeah, up. Yeah, with. yeah, we good. They family. We locked in. Thank yeah. us again, YFN, NBC. Yeah, yeah. And and YFN is a crew, correct? Yeah, me and my brothers. It's a record too. I mean, it's a label too. But yeah, me and my brothers, we started it. We also all rap, so you know how that go. And um, how what, what were you like as a student? Because you said you were rapping since you were like twelve. So were um, you... like I was smart. Like I wouldn't say I was the smartest, but you know I was smart. I used to do my work. But like me and all my friends, we all grew up in the same neighborhood, went to the same school. So we used to get in trouble, just Joan and get in trouble, fight, might fight, might get kicked out. <laughs> so I didn't graduate, but I got my um GED on um, saying yeah, I post to graduate. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. So why you? So you went right away after you got kicked out of school. You yeah, went because it's GD. like I got I got separated from everybody. Once you know, I, I it, it ain't I couldn't ever do the work. It just I used to um just be goofing around. Be distracted. Didn't yeah. take it serious yeah. all the way. Yeah. So you weren't you weren't a bad kid. You just nah. you were you had ADD. You were you were talking too much, playing I around. Hey, 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 I ain't had ADD. <laughs> well, dang, don't just people with ADD. <laughs> nah, nah, There's nothing wrong with I got, got, I I got a lot of brothers with ADD. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you got you, one sitting next to you, right? You said you're really close to your mom. Has, she, has she always supported your music career? Yeah. yeah. You know, my mama done gave me so many hundred dollars to go to the studio and make songs. Wow. So, you know, a lot of people, mama, won't get on nothing. Right. Yeah. They'll be like, take your ass to she school, graduate. She might give me her last hundred to go make a song. So. Wow. And now it paid off. Yeah. And, and, and that's something that I think parents, many parents miss the boat on is uh, being able to invest in the passions of their kids. Right. And, um, and, and help it. Not only help it, but, you know, uh, have faith in them that they take this passion seriously and want to deliver something back to but, the family. But, you know... It, they got to make their parent believe that too, though, you know. Say, explain that. They what do you mean? You can't just be saying it and not doing it. You so she see. saw you working. So yeah, she knew you was yeah, ready to work. Yeah. 
you come back and play her a song, like, what do you think of this? Yeah, every time. Like, I just be playing the music, and she just be listening, you know? So I knew she would. She might say, ain't that right? Like, oh, you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You know, so you know what I already see in this guy? Huh. He's gonna be the guy who, in a year, when he's like popping at the award shows, he's gonna show up at the awards with, with his, his mom. His mom will be the yeah. day. Oh, yeah. But that's always the biggest players who do that. Walking on the stage with me and everything. Hold oh, on, <laughs> that's beautiful. Why Finn Lucci, man? Tee up this record every day. We lit P and B rock. I'm sure yeah. we're gonna see you again when the yeah. album comes out. I really love uh, what you're talking about Appreciate and hearing that. and hearing you talk about hip hop and rhymes and all that. People gonna appreciate that in the long term. So appreciate that, appreciate it. Tell that. the people about this song. Hey man, I am Y Fan Lucci. You know, this is my next number one song. You smell me. Every day we lit featuring P and B rock. You know it's a hit. It make you feel like you lit. It make <laughs> you feel like you living, you're happy, no worries, you know? And how we kicking it. Y Fan Lucci, give it up. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Yeah.